So I finally accepted that Coraline will not be given a sequel, but a movie that actually has a good chance of having one several years later from its original release is Nine. This perplexing film has spiked the curiosity of its fan club, including me, when the scientist Facebook page was recently updated. And when I say recent, I actually mean January of last year, but the post is modern compared to the scientist's last one, which came on September 8th of 2009. If you have absolutely no idea what I'm talking about, and either I've never seen or haven't thought of this movie in a super long time, I recommend watching it, watching it again, or following along to this brief explanation, since if I were you, I probably wouldn't have time for either of the previous two solutions. And if you do know exactly what I'm talking about, I recommend skipping this part of the video by going to the time you see on the screen right now. Anyway, The Movie 9 came out on September 9th, 2009, but kept its potential viewers interested for months before that. It's one of the only movies to actually reveal some lore-related backstory before the film comes out, doing this by way of Facebook. This page, labeled as Nine Scientist, kept posting for a few months before the movie came out, following the story of a scientist creation of nine creatures called Stitch Punks. The last post was from the day before the movie came out, in which the scientist apparently dies just after writing it. Then, the events of the movie played out, which was the end of the Nine universe for a long period of time. Until last year, when the scientist updated his Facebook page with this message. The light has faintly flickered on again beneath the ashes, and I have begun the long-awaited search for hope. I must find nine. What does this mean? Is it hinting at a sequel? Ready for a theory? Hey everyone, it's CTO of the Theory Channel. You know, I really wish that I had followed the scientist's Facebook page and seen nine just days after in the theaters. It would have been so much more climactic than just deciding to watch it on a rainy day in August two years ago. But I guess that's how it goes when you completely miss all of the previews for a particular movie. Anyway, since I took so long recapping everything in the intro, I'll just start my theory. It's pretty groundbreaking that the movie company actually posted anything on the Facebook account eight years after the release. Almost everybody had forgotten about the movie, just like Coraline had been neglected until theories started popping up around the internet. The company would not do this unless they were in fact creating a sequel, it just makes no sense otherwise. And even though it would seem like a pretty long gap between the first film and the second, it's also very fitting that the sequel could come nine years later. So if there is a second movie, what would it be about? Wasn't everything pretty much wrapped up at the end of the original? The first thing we have to go off of is the scientist's Facebook post, analyzing it bit by bit. The light has faintly flickered on again. Well, going off the fact that the scientist died right after his last post in 2009, and was dead throughout all of the movie, it's safe to assume that this means he has somehow been reawoken, most likely by the soul rain created by 1, 2, 5, 6, and 8. However, this quote could have a double meaning. It could also be referring to the whole world that the Stitch Punks are living on. Remember, the human race was wiped out after Brain and the Machines took over the Earth, making it a dark and lifeless place. So while the Soul Rain could have woken up the scientist, it also could have sparked life around the planet. However, I don't think it would have resurrected anybody other than the scientist, since the only reason it could have brought him back to life is that the rain was full of his soul. Five of the nine spirits of the Stitch Punks were in that rain, so the scientist would essentially be gaining back five-ninths of his soul. The next part of the post, Beneath the Ashes, also backs this theory up. The souls are granting life to the scientists and the planet, which were covered in darkness and ashes, you could say, for a while. And then comes this last statement, I have begun the long-awaited search for hope. I must find nine. You may think that the scientist's search for hope is the search for salvation, a way to bring life back to the planet, but I think it's more complicated than that. I actually think that two parts of the sentence mean exactly the same thing. When the machines took over the planet, and the scientist has barely any hope left for the human race, the one thing he does is create the Stitch Punks, and most of all, Nine. He even tells Nine that he's all that's left, meaning that he's the scientist's only hope which tells us that the whole Facebook post is basically saying the Earth and the scientists have been reawoken, and the scientist is looking for Nine. The only part of the statement that I don't really get is the long-awaited bit. 
People have noticed how the time frame between the human-machine war and the events of the Nine movie can't be too large, because there aren't skeletons laying around on the ground. So the scientists' long-awaited search would only be about a couple weeks long at most. But the scientist could just be referring to how he's been after peace for so long, before even the beginning of the war, which could have gone on for years. So now that we've dissected this post, what will be in store for a possible coming sequel? By the end of the first movie, 1, 2, 5, 6, and 8 were gone, Brain was destroyed, and the Soul Rain was coming down. I think that the second movie would come almost exactly after the first one took place, with 3, 4, 7, and 9 left, and the scientist waking up. What would probably work the best is if throughout the whole movie, the scientist is searching for 9, but doesn't actually get to him until near the end. For this to work though, Nine and the other Stitch Punks would have to be dealing with some other machine-type threat in the meantime, making them flee the area that the scientist was in. Maybe the Soul Rain also was able to revive either the Seamstress, Cat Creature, or Winged Beast, or maybe even all three of them. After all, these machines never even had the brain of the scientist, they were literally created to capture and destroy, so if they woke up, they'd be ruthless and looking for the Stitch Punks. And at the end of the movie, the scientist finally finds and meets Nine, and together, they destroy whatever the threat is. I would also have to guess that 3, 4, and 7 will die in some way, as it would be even more thematic if just Nine and the scientist were left. And as for repopulating the Earth, I'm not entirely sure how it would get done, but if anyone knows how to do it, it's the scientist, and it could have something to do with the talisman. So that's my full prediction-like analysis of a possible Nine sequel. As of right now, January 2018, nothing's been mentioned, but I still think it has a good chance of happening. After all, why would the creators get everyone intrigued again if they weren't adding on to the story? The purpose of creating a fictional Facebook page like this isn't just to let people like me dissect it, but to attract more of an audience, thereby making more money. And if there is a sequel, which I really hope there is, what would it be called? Probably not 9-2, as that would both sound weird and look like the number 92. So maybe something like 9 the sequel with a plot related subheading. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a like, and of course subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. I also make theories on movies like Coraline, Harry Potter, Pixar, and Studio Ghibli, as well as TV shows like Stranger Things and a series of unfortunate events. Tell me what you think of a 9 sequel possibility down in the comment section. See you later.